Alright, so today I'm going to show you um, a little old school trick. Another thing to watch out for when you're reassembling an ATV is make sure your head's not warped. Um, my head, um, when you set it on top, it rocks back and forth. Um, so I learned a little old school trick. What I did was, I'm going to take a level surface. Um, actually, a lot of guys <coughs> use a piece of glass, something uh, completely flat. This is an old piece of bowling alley. Uh, what I did was I uh, just put this across there, make sure it was level and flat, because you want this to be true, you want it to be perfectly straight. And uh, here's a way you can uh, um, finish off or level off your head without bringing it to a machine shop. So what I did was I took 80 grit, and this is uh, this has got a sticky back to it. Cleaned off my uh, work area so this would stick to it. I stuck it down. It's not going to move anywhere. So then, what you do is take a little cutting oil or a WD-40 or whatever you got. Put it there. Keep it flat. If you want to hold it flat, you don't want to put too much pressure on one side or the other, or you're going to sand one side off. Go back and forth. see there's still a low spot that's the part that was leaking 80 grit scratching everything smooth except for that spot uh, this was actually the high spots here this is the low spots and what I'll end up doing is I'll end up finishing off this off with uh, 120 grit sandpaper to smooth all this out so I'm gonna keep going working on this a little bit Okay, so that took all about three to five minutes. You don't, with 80 grit, you don't want to take off a lot of material. You basically, uh, just want to get it close um, and then finish it off with 120. So, put this across here, and you can take a feeler gauge. Uh, I'm what I'm doing is I'm looking to see if there's any light in between there, and see if it rocks back and forth at all. And to me, it feels pretty good. I'm close. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish this off with 120 grit. Um, I'll show you what I what kind of sandpaper I bought. Um, I actually got this uh, from Harbor Freight. It's uh, meant to go on a on a on a grinder like that or a sander. Um, this has a nice grit to it. It's not going to fall off like sandpaper you'd buy at, uh, uh, meant for sanding wood. You know, the little pieces of sand aren't going to fall off. So now I'm just going to finish this off with 120. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Spray it and sand it. And that should sand it nice and smooth. Like I said, keep firm pressure. You don't want to push on one side more than the other because otherwise you're going to sand one side more. So I'm trying to keep even pressure. Just go back and forth ever so slightly. When your sandpaper gets gummed up. You can always wipe it off. Okay. So you kind of see it's getting a little finer here. I'm going to set the camera down and finish this. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm going to spray the uh, sandpaper also. Cutting oil, spray this. I'm gonna go back at this and finish it up. Now you can go to a machine shop, and spend 30 or 40 bucks on it, and do it right. But I like to save money. And this is such a small head that I don't see there being a problem with me doing this the way it is. It's an old school trick, people have been doing it for years. Um, trick is make sure you keep everything level. Uh, your sandpaper starts getting gumped up, 
Just gonna wipe it off. Put it down a little bit. I've got about eight in minutes into this already. Okay, so what I did is, uh, so I wasn't putting too much pressure on one side or the other, was I also turned this. I'm gonna finish it off this way. Show you what I got here. So what I'll end up doing is, because you've got the scratches in there, I'll use like um, um, a really good RTV. When I seal this, I'll put the gasket on. Uh, what I like is a uh, Honda Bond. That's going to fill in some of these minor scratches um, when you put the gasket on. But I'll show you what I did. I'm going to put this on here. I'm not left-handed, so bear with me. Okay. Seat's perfect. Is it rock? Before it was rocking back and forth really good like this. Now it's nice and tight. Now I'm ready to put her back together. Hope you enjoyed this little trick. Um, just thought I'd show you something. A lot of people are going to say, no, you can't do that. That's not going to work. Um, this is just something I learned, and I know uh, I know it's going to work. So um, this is a little trick that might help you out, save you some money. I uh, hope you enjoyed my video.